she threw up in Chantal's car on the way here. We've arrived. The most intense episode thus far. <laughs> because my sister's on her way. It's Sunday and we're gonna go grab coffee in the old port. She's babysitting one of her good friend's dogs named Nova. I'm quickly just finishing my makeup and then I'm going to go downstairs and meet my sister. And I still need to curl my hair and pick an outfit and she's gonna be here in like 10 minutes. So wish me luck. So this is the fit for today. It's all dynamite, the pants I got years ago. Boots are Doc Martens, and the top I just got with my Chanel. Okay, see you guys in the old port. Nova! Oh, it's the star of the show! <laughs> she doesn't like cars, so she threw up in Chantal's car on the way here. Um, she's like, excuse me? <laughs> Yeah, she did. You did, sweetie. You did. Yeah. Let's not let's not lie to the viewers. But it's okay because you're freaking cute. Where are we going, by the way? Do you know? It's up to you. Like Tommy. Like, that there's not a lot of mm. True. Do you have any coffee shops take dogs? I feel bad, like for her, just like to be out. Like, um. No, I don't think so. Not in the old part. We've arrived. So we're at Tommy and um, we're just gonna get coffee and then come out and probably just come back to the car and chill a little in here because Nova's not allowed and it's cold. So, and then we'll probably like go back out when once we've warmed up, take some cute pics and yeah, Nova. She's like, I wanna go here. It's, oh my, it's a spa, is she okay? Like the fact she like knows. <laughs> Her little booties, I cannot. Oh, the fact they're 100 dollars As she should. Nova, let's go get, let's go get coffee. Yeah. The fact she's gonna be the star of the show. Is she okay, like, going everywhere? Oh, she wants art now. <laughs> she's gone to the spa now, she wants art. Oh, she didn't want this one. It's too boho for her. She's more of a she modern wants... kind of gal. Oh, she's ready to buy some <laughs> furniture. What's in there? Huh? She's like, do you not see my reflection? I'm just looking. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Alrighty, Nova. We're going right over here, sweetie. It's the waddling. <laughs> Chantal is living her best life being a dog mom. And I am loving being an auntie for today. <laughs> oh. No. She's so intrigued. She's like, this is also new to me. I know. It's exciting down here, isn't it, Nova? She's like, it's so much different than the suburbs. <laughs> Alrighty, oh, Nova. Dear. I'll see ya. No, 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 no sweetie, you're not allowed in. Curious butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Hmm? <laughs> Look at her. Look at this face. I love you. I love you. I just met you, but I love you, Nova. She's like, I have that effect on people. <laughs> Chanel, your dog will never be returned. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Why is she people watching now? It's the underbite for me. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, I would have invited my sister up with Nova, but we're not allowed dogs in this apartment um, or any animals of any kind. So unfortunately they were not able to come up, but um, we still had a fun morning, mostly spent in the car because it's freezing outside. I feel like one of her hairs, she's so cute. She apparently doesn't like cars. So she threw up on the way here, unfortunately. She was okay when I was driving the car to the old port because she was sitting in my sister's lap the whole time. So I think she felt more comforted knowing like she was on someone's lap. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna be doing the rest of the day. I probably should clean a little bit. I vacuumed the apartment yesterday, but I should clean the kitchen and bathroom um, just cause I like to do that once a week. Just try to like have a clean space to start the week, but I really don't feel like it, so. Hey guys, it's now almost 8 o'clock and I'm going to be making dinner pretty much all afternoon Alex and I have just been planning for well planning I mean we've been looking stuff up because we're hoping to travel in June, which I'm really excited about We are looking to go away for two weeks to Portugal and then Paris So we were just kind of looking at flights Airbnbs just to get an idea about pricing and stuff like that I'm exhausted. I'm so tired of living on the couch like on my laptop just being lazy so anyway it's dinner time it's eight o'clock so for dinner i'm collaborating not officially this is not at all paid or sponsored in any way but um a brand called we cook which if you guys follow me on instagram and if you don't shameless promo i'll have my instagram linked right here you guys have seen on my stories that i've been mentioning them this last week because it's the first week i received my order for with them but essentially it's this food ordering um service so like hello fresh good foods all those like delivery services but the difference is is that this company specializes first and foremost in like healthy meals and second the meals come pre-made so with all the other food subscription services it comes with like the ingredients but you have to cook it so it still takes like 20 30 minutes to cook and I'm literally the laziest person ever and I've been really wanting to eat healthier this year discover new recipes but I have cooking books like we literally live two like literally a two minute walk from the grocery store it's literally down the street and i still don't go to pick up fresh ingredients i'm just so lazy and i really i just don't enjoy cooking like i'm admitting it i'm fully like putting it out there that's why i was so excited about this food delivery service and i'm so pleasantly surprised so far the foods have been so good like the meals that i've ordered every single week they switch up their recipes so for example like next week is like puts in week for them they obviously have like more healthy puts in recipes i think we ordered one puts in next week so i want to show you guys what i'm going to eat tonight i have have a few options so i have two meals left and one snack so they have snacks too so basically the meal plan that i'm on with them is that i get six meals sent to me a week and two snacks sent six times so the first snack i finished it was like this chocolate chunk cookie protein cookie with like white chocolate chunks and like raspberry in it it was amazing like literally so good the second snack is this peanut butter pretzel brownie, which is also quite good. It's not as good as the cookie, but still very decent. And then the two meals that I've left for this week, this one's smoked turkey breast. So it, this one, honestly, like they don't really look that appetizing, but I promise you that so far they've been really, really good. So there's the turkey breast. There's Brussels sprouts also in this one, as well as mashed potatoes on the bottom here. And you can either put it in your oven 
or if you're extra lazy like I am, it's three minutes in the microwave and your dinner is literally ready. You just have to take the film off on the top. Even the bottom part is microwavable. You don't even have to put it in a plate, which I do. I'm not that lazy. I put it in a plate and then I microwave it. But if you really just want to eat it out of this, you could hypothetically. And then this next meal, which I think I'm going to try this one tonight, is grilled chicken breast with romesco sauce um, and then it comes with like some veggies so and potato wedges and then that's the chicken with the sauce so i think i'm gonna try this one tonight also i have some leftover chili from last night i mixed um the chili in with like some mashed sweet potato so i mixed the chili in with that and it was so good like amazing it was beef chili um but oh my god so 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 good so anyway all in all i'm like telling you about this food delivery service if you guys are interested you can try it out i have a code that they gave me it's alicia70 i'll have it i'll have it here and i'll also have all the info as well as the link in the description if you guys are interested you guys can try it out and you get 70 dollars with this code off your first two orders so then you get 35 dollars off the first order and then 35 dollars off your second order which is really good if you guys just want to test it out for like a week and see you know if you like it if you don't if you just want like a cheap week sometimes i do that with like the hello fresh subscriptions where it's like i'll sign up for like a week where it costs me like 30 bucks you know when you get like a bunch of free meals and then i i don't order from them anymore i do that sometimes but like i said the difference between this and the other food delivery services is that you don't have to cook so for me, that's been a game changer. Just to be fully transparent with you guys, it's a full month trial that I have with them. So I have a full month just to try their, their food and obviously to promote it if I like it, which so far I'm, I'm really impressed. And I feel like I'm going to be ordering from them even once like we don't work together anymore because I'm in love. Like I literally, it's the first week in forever that I have not eaten out. I can go to a restaurant to eat for dinner and I have not ordered any Uber Eats which is like a miracle for me. Normally we, we eat out like at least at least once a week. Like to not order out is just like unheard of for me, but because they've sent me six meals, like that leaves one extra meal and usually Alex cooks. I will definitely keep you guys updated with the meals and the snacks, especially if you follow me on Instagram, you'll get the updates even more. Little rant about we cook over, but if you guys are interested in checking it out, all the info will be down below, like I said. So. I'm gonna heat this up in the microwave. Tonight's euphoria, it's Sunday. I'm obviously going to watch the newest episode. Um, last week I like sat down on Sunday to watch the new episode and the Crave app in Canada was like spazzing. So it logged everyone out of their accounts and no one was able to watch the show, which I was so upset about, so I had to wait till Monday. But today I'm determined, I'm determined to watch it. I hope nothing goes wrong. Okay, so I lied, I did not make the other dish i actually decided i'm like not that hungry so i decided to finish my leftover chili from yesterday it's so good doesn't look the greatest i'm not gonna lie it looked kind of gross but it's so good hey guys it's past midnight now i've been on my phone scrolling tiktok but oh my goodness that episode the most intense episode thus far and it's getting like really heavy <laughs> like this was a really heavy episode i feel like i went through every emotion so if you have not seen it i suggest skipping this part of the vlog i don't want to spoil anything for anyone zendaya is gonna win another emmy she's amazing her acting is so good like obviously i don't know what it's like to be a drug addict going through withdrawals but i'd imagine that it is exactly the way that she portrayed it like you feel for her like my heart goes out for her like she misses her dad like you feel every emotion i feel that like she's feeling and then how rue like calls cassie out in front of everyone just to like get the attention off her i was like okay i was not expecting it to come out that way and the fact like we were all kind of not sure if maddie knew or not if she was kind of like stringing cassie and nate along but like she clearly didn't know so obviously i really think they're gonna like touch on that topic way more in the next episode so we'll see what happens but um i'm kind of happy that it's out like i feel like there's movement now i feel like the last few episodes have been pretty like calm like, it's been clear water you know uh smooth sailing up until now and now i feel like shit's gonna hit the fan for the next few episodes so it's gonna be really interesting to see how things play out but obviously i had to go to tiktok right after watching the episode because i've my phone obviously listens and it knows that i'm like watching euphoria so it started like sending me like 
on my For You page, obviously all the TikToks that people were making of tonight's episode. And some people were like, it was so boring. Like it was just running for 45 minutes. And I'm like, you guys are missing the point. Like this is not your typical like teenage drama, love triangle. There's so much depth to Euphoria that I feel like so many viewers just don't get. But I think like obviously it's coming out. Like I feel like it doesn't come out in every episode if that makes sense. Like some of the episodes are like more superficial, I'd say. It's very well done. It's extremely artistic and different like i feel like it's such a different show anyway i'm like going on a tangent definitely not my favorite show like i do think that like i don't want to say i don't know i used to think like euphoria was a bit overrated i still enjoy the show don't get me wrong but i i revoke that comment because clearly it's very well done like the acting is amazing Artistically, like I feel like it's so new and fresh and something that we have not yet seen in TV shows. Like I feel like so many TV shows, it's like the same generic storylines and, and the way it's filmed. And like Euphoria is such a breath of fresh air. Like I feel like it's some stuff we have not seen yet seen. Like it's so out there sometimes. Um, and even the way it's filmed, like it's it's so well done. So I do revoke my comment of that it's overrated because I it's not like it 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 deserves the hype it's really really well done anyway okay little rant over i'm heading to bed you guys because i'm exhausted it's like gonna be 12 30 by the time i go to bed i love you guys so much i hope that you enjoyed this chill sunday vlog oh please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for nova and and maybe for me a little bit too but mostly for nova and i'll see you guys really really soon with another new video bye